Good afternoon everybody, it's Coda here from Amazing ATS and today we do have the International 9800 out from Oddfellow. This was updated recently and today we are running the Pumpkin Patch, otherwise known as Schneider National Carriers. Right now we are sitting here, oh I totally forgot where we were sitting at, in Las Cruces, New Mexico and our first load is taking us over to the Walbert in Yuma. We've got 36,000 pounds of used packaging on the back. So without any further waiting, we're going to climb into the truck and get our butts going on the road. Epic, how's it going today? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Tuesday going. George, how's it going today? Awesome to hear. Well, seeing that you've been sick and if you're feeling really good, then yeah, that really makes things into a good day. got a 53 foot Wabash pumpkin mobile sitting on the back.
consider this a partial nostalgia series. Yep, I do have the trailer mod and the replacement in. Of course, I did some editing, so I'm only getting mostly the 53-foot contra uh, containers and the wall boss trailers. Just makes it easier without having to have me jump around. skinned up as of yet was that in game or was that in the real world oh so far I'm liking it saw them mostly they were running the international 9800s and that's what I'm running today but I do know they they pretty much ran back in the day the cab overs they ran Freightliner and internationals oh 
although that is quite pop possible that it may have been a brand new trailer and they didn't put the decals on it yet. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I don't keep up with the news on who's buying who and whatnot. driven a cab over in forever. I am all over the road. a company truck that has owner operator specs it going and thank you so much for the hosting. Roger that. I am doing fantastic. Well, if you've never driven flatbed before, TMC will teach you how to tarp and everything else. Yep, that is absolutely correct. They mostly run Peter cars. Stand four on that, Iron Man. mostly running a 579 and the 389s they do have some 379s I'm pretty sure of and back in the day when I was driving that's all they ran were 379s oh I'm quite sure they can
uh, again there, George, I would not know. But on the road there, Coda. That's what Sissel had mentioned when I watched the video on YouTube for ETS2 and that is to make the game more realistic and from what I've seen so far it looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's sweet. Buzz the cop. I did not know. through and read the descriptions.
stream, I did take out my real life logos and gas stations just to avoid any conflict. But of course, that's what I always do. I'm always messing around with the mods before I actually start streaming. I do want to make sure that they work. And that is exactly what we need. More realism. Side skirts are mandatory in California. Um, yep, and the reason for that is to keep the airflow going outside of the truck and the trailer so what that does will any little bo boost of fuel economy it makes it better for the companies so uh, basically a lot of them are running APUs these days but anytime these drivers are stopping especially my brother he will all he does is he'll pop on his brakes immediately shuts the truck down Yeah, not all companies are running side skirts as of yet. see that he wants to keep everything pretty much up to date. That's a very simple. It's called um, aerodynamics. I mean, the less air that gets underneath the truck, the more aerodynamic the truck is going to be, which decreases fuel costs. You'll still see them, but the, like you had mentioned, they're getting away from that baby blue that they were running.
Oh, we definitely can't pull doubles or anything out of here. Can't haul curtains. That's a short container. Can't haul that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we're going to have to take one of these here. Uh, where should we go? Hmm, yeah. Going to Flagstaff pays more money. It also is a hot load. Looks like it's being required. We got an hour and a half window there this afternoon. So let's go over to Sunshine Crops and get that wagon. changing the look of the company which a lot of ones are doing these days Also, as not that great of a company to work for, too. through the company they're probably going to make you stay there for a year otherwise they're going to hit you up for the cost of the training if you leave before that
just like any company, a lot of it's going to depend on your fleet manager also, depending on what you get for loads and how, how busy you're going to stay. just blows my mind that the AI will sit at the top of a get on ramp instead of getting up to speed and merging into traffic. Nosing? What do you mean? Trust me, back when I drove, there was no such thing as GPS. And this just makes it easier to, to have it, actually, so I don't get lost. Because truck drivers don't get lost. We only get misdirected. I shut it off. I pretty much know how to get up to Flagstaff anyway.
goodness, King, how's it going? Long time no see. Oh, I've been keeping up with things. Uh, more hours at work and pretty much having a whole bunch of fun. Yes, they do, and you will find those in any truck stop. And they do have truck routes laid out to avoid low overpasses. But what's always the funny part is if you get a truck that hits a low overpass and you ask them what GPS they were using, oh, I was using Google GPS on my phone. It's like, uh, face palm. going to regret this. I know my exit is right up here, just a little much in front of me, and I'm sitting here in the hammer lane. too much about work, especially when I've got a trip I've got to pay for coming up here in May. I do know a lot of companies will use day cabs when running around a city and that's just because these trucks turn so much quicker than what a conventional does. surprised it's not as easy as what you think it is it is a very stressful job you've got a tractor that weighs 25,000 pounds you've got a trailer that could weigh up to 45,000 so you've got an 80,000 pound vehicle and you have to pay attention because four-wheelers these days will literally slam on their brakes in front of you just looking for an easy payout from suing.
it's up on the like the sleeper of your cab, it's to, if you have say a flat so flat top or a mid roof sleeper, you're gonna want to put something on the top of your sleeper in order to get the air to go up over the trailer. Again, it's all aerodynamics, and the better the air flows around you, and not having to push against it, the better fuel mileage that you are going to get. All right, you take care, King. Great to see you again. Curly, great to see you again. Uh, about the 389, we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, this stream today is all dedicated to the pumpkin patch. They serve a very purposeful fun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Tongue twisting Tuesday. They serve a very good function. in the afternoon we got to be up in Flagstaff between 430 I believe right earliest at 430 yeah we're definitely gonna make that and uh, I am not gonna be running anything racist on any of my trucks George I'm very sorry That's the last thing I want to do is piss off people, so I am not going to be doing anything like that. with you there, Iron Man. single player co-op. And 
that is why you really do not want to drive a truck if you get stressed out from cars slamming on their brakes in front of you this is not the job for you it may look have you look like an outlaw George but with the way how uptight people are about anything racist these days I mean the next thing you know they're gonna be flat they're gonna be reporting my video because it has racist content and I do not want that sightseeing into a Jersey barrier again and at George not to be mean but if you would please stop discussing Confederate flags during my stream that would be very much appreciated because it I just don't want it it's too much of a touchy subject for so many people Let me guess, Iron Man, I'm going to have to buy a new truck now, aren't I? Apologize, George. It's just being respectful towards everybody. How's it going today? Ah, uh, gotta love insurance. My brother does that all the time. He will sit and lay on the air horn.
as you see, yeah, I so cannot talk again. As you see there in the background, we have the International 9800 out today from Oddfellow, and we do have the Pumpkin Patch, otherwise known as Schneider National, for the carrier today. Now let's see if we can find any 53 foot containers here in Flagstaff. There we go, we'll go up to Farmington. We're gonna go ahead and, after I jump across and get fuel at the garage, we're gonna go to Voltasin Motors and we're gonna change that trailer to a 53 foot container skin. Uh, Iron Man got into a wreck, again. Oh yes, support America all you want. Uh, are you hitting a car on purpose, Iron Man? Voltison Motors. Let's take a look here. Yep, I am. Sweet! Let's just see, can I change that? Oh, actually I can, sweet. All right, Farmington or Oakland? Nah, we're gonna go to Farmington. How's it going today? Uh, 
from memory or looking at the map, but we're going up to Farmington. I haven't been this way in like forever, so I am turning the GPS on for this one. Thank you, Mr. Domino's, for letting me out. Now, I do have to say, I have not pulled the container trailer in forever. I do have to give props to Sissel. These trailers look amazing. Alright, you take care, George. Thanks for joining us here on the stream this evening. Lovely, we've got my rear end sticking out in the road today. something else mapped to F9. Multiplayer trying to uh, dev um, do a um, dev console around to quick TP somewhere.
welcome back. Kenworth, how's it going? You getting any better with your mega shifter? Two hundred dollar keyboard? What the heck? I do know that this is my last live stream today. Yeah, once you get used to shifting it more and more, it will become second nature. Does it serve you, um, either champagne or something like that? Uh, currently, probably tomorrow evening, I would say 5 p.m. ish, and we are gonna be doing Coast to Coast tomorrow also. And on the subject of Coast to Coast, there is going to be a new update coming out very soon, version 2.4, and the signs folder that or mod that is usually included will no longer be required so it looks like the signage is going to be a part of the mod and yep the horn does work on this one this mod, if you go to atsmods.lt, just search for the for 9800, you will see this was updated by Oddfellow roughly two or three weeks ago. Just kidding, it's not my last live stream. My new motherboard got delivered today. So I'm actually here, I'm gonna be swapping out my computer, putting it back into another case. So, um, cause right now I don't get any airflow into my graphics card and it sounds like a jet engine during my streams, which I do not like. So basically I'm just transplanting my case from one into another. I was hoping someone was going to ask, "What's? why is this your last live stream? Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Oh right, it's not April Fool's yet. Darn it, I can't do that.
Alpha, what do they do, Kenworth? And yes, if you look at the rims today, I am running steel rims uh, because, um, yeah, back when uh, Schneider ran these trucks, they did not have uh, chromies at all. Externals won't let you do that. Mortals come in sound? Yes, I do have that downloaded. I'm sorry guys, I just had to play a, just a wee little tiny joke. Maybe that went a little overboard. below me if not I'm gonna go splat What's in this truck, which is a 515 horsepower, no, no wait, hold on, this is a 475 3406 CAD, and this thing gets up and goes, it's having no problems whatsoever. Uh, that would be when I buy Farming Sim 17, which I have not done as of yet.
up here in the Farmington. We're going to see if we can find a load going over to Raton. The northern drive along New Mexico here is absolutely gorgeous. But then we don't want to take that load at night either. we got to do it daytime so you guys can see everything. But I do want to know who is pumped for Oregon. Tell me my mixer chat went out again. turned off currently.
Alright, let's see what we got for a load here. Uh, Farmington we are. What do we got? Uh, it looks like the longest one that I'd be able to get a uh, Schneider wagon on is going over to Kingman. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pick that up from Eddie's and take it over to Sell Goods in Kingman. And you guys are noticing I do not have my real real life logos and gas station mod in. I didn't want to have any conflict, so... And I was having a little bit of a trouble earlier, but that was uh, Coda's stupid fault. We'll put it that way. So that will be back in. back in the day I wonder how many people actually put these cabs up on to their hoods because of all the weight on these is it basically in the front What do you know? I just noticed that. We've got uh, my steering wheel, at least on the external view, is out underneath the cab. You can see it right in here. And I'm going to fix something here with my wheel too. I had changed my settings, but the stiffness I got to turn up here. The steering wheel just feels way too loose. So we just turned up the gain a little bit. So that's going to make the wheel just a little bit stiffer. thinking too with Oregon coming out sometime this year SES has mentioned that, that they were going to update all the signs in Nevada Arizona and California 
we are probably going to get a game update before Oregon comes out. I wonder if that game update is going to include that signage update. so cool if that if that does happen driver to these headlights because they are shining like right down in front of the truck. And Binbot, how's it going today? Uh, welcome to the stream. Right. And so, thank you so much for that follow Binbot. I do appreciate it. This is the International 9800. It is available at ATSmods.lt. The mod maker is Oddfellow.
International 9800. Yes, I do. in multiplayer anymore as if I'm doing a public convoy or I'm playing a, a, I'm playing with one of my friends otherwise I'm normally not in there I just want to take a look here if I mentioned the engine correctly. I don't believe that 3406 is a 600 horsepower. I believe this might be the C15 with a cert on it. You sure can, Bin Butt. Yeah, all my convoys that I do stream are public. And I'm going to. Before the next one comes out, I'm going to try to get a video set up at least earlier that day that's going to have the route that we're going to be taking.
since this truck doesn't have the pre-pass device in this, I do want to make sure I'm going to pass the scale here. Seven eight five. That is like perfect. Two hundred fifteen pounds underneath the eighty thousand pound GVR that these trucks normally do run. This is the base map along with the U.S. cities expansion, which adds a few cities, mostly in, there's three of them in Nevada that got added, three in Arizona, like four in California, and one in New, uh, Nevada, three in New Mexico, I'm sorry. But other than that, I don't have any other map mods in. play GTA 5. Now, tomorrow's live stream, I'm going to be running a Peter Car 389 and running coast to coast. Welcome back, Iron Man. Uh, for streaming, no it is not. Uh, and I'm really not a console player, even though I believe it's available for PC too. I am just not into things like that. I do know who Squirrel is. Don't know him personally, but I have watched some of his videos.
Core i7 7700, 32 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1070. that I'm using for the game we've got a Thrustmaster T150 wheel, T3 PA pedals, we got the TH88 shifter and sitting on top of that we have the Tech Affliction Mega Shifter which is a real world American shift knob that's been converted for use on PC. Very similar to the SKRS but way better and tons of better customer service and you don't have to wait a year in order to get it.
stupid prime. I have not, Barton. would have got my butt literally busted back there because Prime was so stupid I had nowhere to go and every time it seems like I go into the middle I end up hitting an invisible wall understand why Prime went to the left, back to the right, and then back into the left. Uh, Binbob, what you may need to do in the control option is invert the pedal. And you can do that right from the controls in the game. How's it going today? Uh, welcome to the stream. Have you made sure that your wheel is plugged into a USB 2.0 port, not into 3.0 or a hub? tried reselling the drivers. Oh, I'm doing fantastic being awesome like a possum.
wow, this parking lot's normally lit up, and it's not, and I cannot see worth a darn. by going to the manufacturer website and downloading them. So what I have my wheel set up here is we're down here, your joy access, uh, acceleration. Of course, I've got that on throttle. But if I don't invert the pedal, if I go to normal, of course, it's I'm not going to be able to do anything there. My gas is always on. So my pedal is always inverted. That way it works just like a regular axis. The brake, we're going to go ahead and it's done the exact same way. And of course, I've got a clutch too. So what you may need to do, BinBot, is make sure that your acceleration axle, you're going to click on that and make sure that you step on your, your throttle. And then if it still stays full yellow, invert the pedal. Alright, but guys, my name is Coda. You have been watching Amazing ATS. I am going to get out of here for the night. I've got to get my stand up and get my legs stretched out. And I do want to thank you guys for watching today. If you are on YouTube, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And we will see you on the next stream. Have a great rest of your Tuesdays. See you on the flippity flop.